Hi everyone. The reason that the card guards oppose Alice in Alice in Wonderland isn't just because their queen orders them to. It's also because they have red on them. And red is the colour of Satan and Russia. But notice the similarities. Maybe the Red Queen represents Queen Elizabeth. Look at these. Look at this here. It looks like an Illuminati pyramid. See? And she opposes them because she's wearing blue. And blue is the colour of Jesus and God and the light. This Deadpool guy, he represents the Illuminati clown. Just like Spider-Man does, because they've both got red on them. And as we said before, red represents Russia and Satan. And they both clown around and joke around. And make wisecracks. Because... They're clowns. See, they're both this clown. Because he's wearing red as well. So Iron Man is your Satan. Captain America is your Jesus. And Spider-Man and Deadpool are your clown characters. Who are Illuminati clown characters. Now some people say that Satan and the clown are the same person. But that's just one theory. Because, because I'm representing a different theory here. And other people say that the clown is actually possessed by Satan. Now let's compare the colours of all of these different flags. This is the Union Jack or the Union Flag. It's got red, white, and blue on it. Just like the American flag has. And just like the Russia flag has. And this England flag, this has red and white on it. And it's missing the blue. It's missing the good. Because blue is Jesus and God and the light. But the fact that all of these flags have all of the same colours on them further represents my point that all of these countries are working together to bring about their new world order. Star Wars Rogue One trailer was released today. And in it... The rebels rise up against the Empire. Just as the Empire rises up with their Death Star or their nuclear weapon. The Death Star represents all of the nuclear weapons that we have on Earth. Yeah, so the rebels are rising up, the Empire are rising up in this film. Just like all of these are rising up with our new world order. State your name for the record. Jen Asa. Forgery of Imperial documents. Do you see that the rebel ha wore a blue shirt? Because he represents the good. And his shirt does as well. The light. Apologies, I think we've got a technical issue here, guys.
See, even this guy looks like he's wearing blue. And this guy right here. And even Felicity Jones's character looked like she was. I mean, that could have been black. But it could have been dark blue. But it could have been light blue. State your name for the record. Jen Urso. Forgery of imperial documents. Possession of stolen property. Aggravated assault. Resisting arrest. On your own from the age of 15. Reckless, aggressive, and undisciplined. This is a rebellion, isn't it? I rebel. We have a mission for you. A major weapons test is imminent. We need to know what it is and how to destroy it. Did you hear what she just said? A major weapons test is imminent. Meaning, the Death Star. But if you think about it in real world terms, she could be meaning that a major weapons test is imminent in real life with the nuclear weapons if you accept that the Death Star represents the nuclear weapons in real life. Is that clear? Yes, sir. explosions and all that chaos going on and those sirens we might hear in real life when the nukes are about to come crashing down on us <laughs> 